Hey guys, this is Jamoth here. I'm going to show you a quick, uh, not really a quick run, um, but it's a run that I usually do. So if you want the short version of my run, go to the archives of Zoltan Cool, and then go to the left and right portion of the archives. These have a lot of champion packs in them, elite packs in them, a lot of chests and weapon racks to click. If you guys believe that those will also give you a higher chance of getting legendaries. Um, I believe that monsters will give legendaries a lot more as a drop rate. So you go to the left and right of the, of, um, sorry, it's called Unknown Depths, and this one's called Storm Halls. You don't have to go to the Realm of Shadow if you, if you want to, go for it. I don't really go there. There's a lot of shadows there, so if you want to try and do it, go for it. Um, after you do all of that, then go to the Sewers of Chaldeum, finish off the Sewers of Chaldeum, and then go to the Path of Oasis, go to the Ruined Cistern here, finish all of this off, back out, then go to the Delger, the, the Delger Oasis, go all the way to the top right here, which is where the waterway is. You can kill the purple here if you really want to. Okay, this is the short version of the, because the sewer and the ruins uh, templates, both of these environments yield an unnatural amount of packs and a, and a large amount of monster density. Um, so you can do all of this um, for, a, a, you know, a chance for legendary. But yeah, go through the Western Channel, go all through, all the way through to the Eastern Channel, then go through the Waterlog Passage, and that is basically the short version of this run. The long version of this run is doing all of Act 2, and I probably recommend just starting the game or starting the quest at the beginning of the game and running it as quickly as possible. Um, that is probably the best way of going about it. And all, in my all honesty, I think going through the entire game is probably the, the best way for it, I guess, in a way. That way you don't see the same environment, you don't get bored or anything like that. But if you guys want, if you feel more, much more comfortable doing um, one run over and over again, uh, to reiterate, go to the archives, do it all, go to the sewers, go to the path of oasis, go backwards into the ruined cistern, do that, all that. Then go to the Dolger Oasis waypoint, go top right, go to the waterway, do all the waterways, and then re rinse and repeat. Um, if you want to add a little bit more to it, go to the road to Alcarn or Alcarnus, and go upwards, and try and find the Time Dungeon. Now, the Time Dungeon is not always going to be here. You might get the Ruins like I did over here. And the Ruins is also good. It's also uh, um, one of the Ruins template as well. And like I said, uh, the Ruins and the and the um, sewers have a lot of things to open and click, like chests, weapon racks. So again, the Ruins is also really good. It also gives you a resplendent at the very end. So do that as well. And that is basically it. I highly recommend to having the Nemesis Spritzers. This will give you an enemy champion in time to click a shrine. And this Act 2, I find personally, has a lot of shrines to uh, give. And also there's a lot of well of pools here too. I don't know if it's true or not. I personally believe, I've been through the game a lot. This is a really good way of um, getting a lot of uh, pools going on for you when you want to do Mira or the wife runs. Or if you want to get a lot of shrines and you get the you you Nemesis Bracers to give you a lot of uh, champions. So again, this is all under the belief that champion mobs and monster density will give you legendaries. Again, there's also chests here as well that you can open. And as a fun fact as well, uh, the archives are something cool. The storm halls and the unknown depths have the cursed chest uh, uh, event in, in one of them. So if you guys want to do this and you have the cursed chest spawn, good for you. And that's also in addition to your, um, you know, to your uh, loot that you can disenchant and whatnot. Now I have a this, this my bird brand has a, win, a world one build on for it as well as sprint marathon. So if I, I can go through this pretty quickly, I could probably do this in about 20 minutes, if not less. Uh, so if you guys want to give it a shot, go for it. Um, I recommend going quite fast at it with movement speed as well, alongside the Paragon points, kind of giving it into it. So this is my run. Hopefully you guys like it. Thank you for watching.